Hi, so in this video, I'll briefly discuss what carbamazepine is, how it works, what is it used for, some of the side effects and contraindications. I'll also go over patient education in this video. Today, I'll be talking about carbamazepine, also known as Tegretol. Before I get into today's topic, I did want to talk about, there was a video I previously did on inducers and inhibitors where I talk about carbamazepine and from that video you can learn that carbamazepine is an inducer and you can watch that video to learn more about inducers and inhibitors. So remember carbamazepine is an hepatic enzyme inducer and what that means is basically it's going to increase the metabolism and decreasing the bioavailability of the drug. It increases basically the breakdown of the medication so there isn't enough medication in the system. So that should be factored in when prescribing the medication or doing med adjustment, such as with Lamictal. What is carbamazepine used for? It's generally used for maintenance treatment to prevent mood episodes, right? And carbamazepine is indicated for patients with bipolar disorder who are concerned with about maybe weight gain because it's caused by lithium or valproic because carbamazepine does not cause weight gain. So carbamazepine is an anti-seizure medication. It's used to decrease the potential for seizures, right? And it's also used for trigeminal neuralgia. It's used for mood disorders, bipolar affective disorders, and the response time for this medication is typically around one week to two weeks. So what are some of the common side effects of taking Tegretol. Well, some of the side effects of taking Tegretol is the patient will be complaining of nausea, dizziness, sedation, headache, dry mouth. They might even complain of constipation. Bada boom. Boom, 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 boom. Bada boom. What is important in educating the patient? Patient education is going to be telling them not to abruptly discontinue the medication, especially if they're pregnant, you're going to tell them not to take it because it's strongly associated with neural tube defects. And in pregnancy, it's category D, lactation, it's lactation level two. So also you're going to encourage the patient to monitor for Steven Johnson syndrome. So especially in Asian population, there are at increased risk. So this is where you would screen Asian population patients for HLA-B1502 allele before initiating this medication. Before placing the patient on carbamazepine, you're going to have to do a lab work. So you're going to check for sodium level. You're going to do a CBC. There's also going to be kidney functions. You're going to check for BUN. You're going to check for creatinine. You're going to also check for liver functions tests, especially because this medication is processed in the liver, right? Hepatic. You're going to check for TSH level, and last but not least, you're also going to check the patient's weight. What is normal ALT? Well, if you said it's 5 to 35, you are correct. ALT values can be increased with Tegretol. So you're going to monitor for liver functions test and CBC. Be on the alert for granulocytosis or leukopenia. If a patient is presenting with elevated temperature and is taking psychotropic medications such as Tegretol or Clozaril, at this point, you might want to check for lab levels and see what the ANC level is. If the ANC level is less than 1,000, you're going to discontinue the carbamazepine. There is black box warning for Tegretol. It's a granulocytosis and a plastic anemia. A plastic anemia is when the patient might present with pallor, fatigue, they might even complain of headache and fever. They might even have nosebleeds or bleeding from the gum. They might present with skin rash. Heck, they might even have shortness of breath. So what are you concerned with when prescribing this medication? What are some of the contraindications? A contraindication would be to avoid Tegretol in any patient that has hepatic impairment. Remember to avoid MAOIs and wait at least two weeks. Use caution with Tylenol, Clomipramine, Benzodiazepine, Haldol, even anticonvulsants and anticoagulants. Be careful with them. Also be cautious with oral contraceptives while on this medication. Good job, you made it through this video. Give yourself a pat on the back and check out the other videos so you can learn more. Well, this brings us to the end. I think I'm getting better with video editing. What do you guys think? Let me know. Comment below. Thank you so much for watching.